guys, welcome back to Noob Selling Options and today I'm going to share with you guys two stocks that has been making waves for the past one week. Okay, now I have done uh, a few trades on them so I will share with you what is my rationale of uh, entering or what's my rationale of leaving the trade, okay? So one of the stocks on the left, you can see Stone Co. If you look at the face of the person, you realize that uh, yeah, it's probably not very happy. Okay, on the right side, you have Collagen. So Collagen uh, Therapeutics has been sort of enjoying a bit of the spike okay so let's go through why um, they actually will actually spike and um, let's see what was my action on them okay so let's move on so some disclaimer at the beginning i'm not a financial advisor so any options trades or trades that i play should not be considered as investment recommendations and please do your own due diligence before making any investment okay so at the end of the video i will actually sing a song by rascal flats and from the album feels like today okay it's a very nice song okay i hope i can do the song some justice over there so let's move on to the first stock of the day which is collagen therapeutics okay so they basically announced their earnings report on 18 november and they actually beat the uh, sort of endless consensus by 0 0.1 dollar okay so 10 cents so which is very good and if we look at why they have searched no, they, they didn't search after the, the earnings report because it's just by a bit. So, but they after, they did uh, pretty much almost, I would say, 60-70% increase after uh, the analysis by Zacks uh, shows that that's become a new price target of $9 on the stocks. Okay, so they highlighted a few um, um, the things that is written here. You can read yourself. But the main thing is that I would say uh, they do have a good amount of cash equivalent and uh, the sales of the fast pack are actually picking up so but from what i see it doesn't really justify that big pop you see on probably the next page you can see so it was actually moving all the way down you know from april all the way down to zero to one i've entered around here i've entered two more positions here and here and then they have a spike because of the news so the analyst upgrade and uh, you know it's not really that that the catalyst that I'm looking for if I should like hold it for further upside so what I did was actually I, I sold my collagen um, shares I, I bought it here later I'll show you a more detailed transaction I bought it here I think it's around 1.65 uh, I bought it uh, about 1.4 plus this two area and I sold it about 2.5 okay so a very decent trade a quick pop and i probably will be getting back um later on when when, when it retrace to well, one point something i think one point something is a decent price to enter and the quick pop means that i can make use of this opportunity to to, to, to get out and get back in okay because i the news doesn't uh, for me it doesn't justify the pop okay so that's what i have you see this is a fast pack okay so if you look at uh, the positions I did so I did you see on this um May this this May I actually bought it okay I, why did I buy co collagen at the first place later on, next slide I'll show you guys okay for biotech I have a, a few ways to actually um to justify uh, why I go and buy the stocks because um uh, I, I don't do the sub the research behind the science what you know it's, it's pretty difficult and even if you for most investors in, even if they do it it might not work out what as what they wanted so so for me uh, there's a few just two main points that will allow me but that's why i didn't um, buy a big portion i usually buy a small a small number okay so if you look at the, the, the what happened here is i bought 600 of uh, shares of collagen at 1.65 250 1.45 and 100 shares at 1.43 <coughs> excuse me so when i so when it popped, the first thing that came to my mind is I have to sell it because I actually sell it uh, after hours because when I just wake up, you know, uh, woke up, I saw the price, eh? 2.5, is 2.51, pretty decent. I took a snapshot and after I sell it, okay. <clears throat> so after the pop, after the pop, uh, the following day, I, it was about, about $2 plus that I decided to sell put because if you sell put at 2.5, it basically means you're actually buying the shares of 2.5 minus uh, 1.15 okay so you're getting back the shares if you have to uh, get the sign you actually on average price 
$2.35, which is very good. Means I, try, I got out at 2.5, I can try to get it back at uh, 1.35 on average if uh, the stock is below 2.5, which I believe it should be below 2.5, unless there are more catalysts that I don't know and it is released later uh, in later on. So, okay, so but after that, I decided to buy back, okay, on the same day itself, you know, just few hours if you see three hours I was actually eating a uh, high deal out again and uh, this at this point this is a sell four contracts so when I reached home I decided to close it because I decided to use the fun of um, all these trades to enter stone coal limited okay so that one I'll explain later on but why do I choose uh, collagen therapeutics in the first place okay so the first thing I look for is I need to make sure that there is insider buying. Okay, so if you look at insider buying uh, uh, from uh, April, because I entered the first entry was in May, in May. So April 26, the EVP actually, Chief Strategy Officer, actually bought some shares. Okay, um, so if they use the money to buy some shares, I think it's actually very, very encouraging. It means, okay, because what happens behind these biotech companies, we really doesn't know, and whatever we read on the internet. It's only whatever we, 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 we can we can find on the internet and what actually happens we might not know okay so it's best to see if the company key players are willing to buy shares using their own money okay option exercise we do not actually want to bother so all these as buy and they don't buy in big quantities okay they buy in small quantity which means which is a good reflection if they buy in too big amount it's also it probably will be some you know, shares given to them by the company so they only bought 4,500 shares, which is good. Okay, so event in fact, actually, when in August, after I entered in May, uh, the director bought another 8,000 shares. Okay, so this is where around this area, and I decided after some funding, I decided to buy about 1.45. Okay, so so I keep it, uh, and then when it pop, I just clear it. Okay, so that insider buying is very important, and I usually try to get. Um, the entry price is lower than what the insider has bought. Okay, give him a bit more assurance. Okay, just in case it doesn't go well, and it has been on a downtrend for a long period of time, from five dollar plus all the way. So when I enter at one point six at the beginning, I think it's pretty decent entry, and it's below the, uh, the 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 price that they bought. You know, the, even the CEO also bought at one point eight. You know, April a few people buying. So I, I was thinking at I'm getting one point six. So I'm getting a better deal than them no problem all just enter okay then when it comes to here I decided to enter more and if you look at the institutional buying okay institutional buying by first for the last you know two zero because when I, I bought about the I bought around in the Q2 so this wasn't sh shown at the beginning so I was only showing it was only shown uh, these three bars Q3 2020 Q4 and Q1 there are actually institutions that actually purchase this and there's not much selling so they are purchasers and not selling so this is another thing that I would want to know because institution also did a fair bit of studying probably more in depth than me before they make any purchases so I decided that uh, so if, if, if there's a big uh, a number of bar chart is selling I will actually it will not the conviction won't be as high but if you can see the buy is pretty one-sided it's buying buying and buying by institutions together with the insider buy i would think it's a go ahead and the price is already beaten down by so much i don't really worry too much i just need to wait for the time when they pop the shares okay so they pop i don't know whether it's a real pop i, I to me it's, it looks like a fake pop okay so i believe we can get the shares back at one point something which i will consider if the shares go back that price but meanwhile uh, i've used my uh, the, 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 all the profit or uh, the, uh, the capital to enter on this stone coal limited okay so i post it on the noob selling options block so what i i just basically spent about 1007 plus by i bought 100 shares okay in fact these shares then ron buffett and uh, katie wood also bought uh, they bought much earlier at a higher price okay so it, it's actually recommended by one of my my friend i call him noob jr and he's a uh, so I've added it to my watch list, and when it reaches uh, about seventeen dollars, I just just about the same time the collagen actually pops. So I just cleared collagen and replace it with stone coal. Okay, so I, I probably won't be adding shares because um, 
yeah, the market is pretty soft at the moment, and I think this is a very good entry. So anything, unless they really drop until like one digit, you know, when I can consider adding more. Otherwise, like fifteen until fourteen doesn't really excite me to enter more. Okay, so and I probably won't be selling call because uh, they they drop so much within a short span of time, they might actually do a very strong bounce. Uh, if the market is um, better, okay. Currently, the market is pretty weak, uh, so probably not now. But uh, you know, if the stock market start to reverse, things can move really quick. So I do. This is really an investment. It's not really something that I want to do in my uh, options trading account. So this is on Tiger Brokerage. So uh, it's really an investment. So I probably will just leave it there. And unless there's a very strong bounce, then I would put a call at some sell covered call at some very higher ground when it's unlikely to go. Okay. So don't want to lose the shares okay so coincidentally another friend of mine who actually have his own blog which is a jimmy trading room blogspot also uh, recommended this stock as well okay so for me i didn't have communication with him on this particular stock prior to uh, both our posting okay so he's a, more of the technical guy as well and he's good at fundamentals so he's balanced so he also uh, suggested that you know around this price it's actually uh, it's a good price to long long here and you can see that he's trade he did a sell put uh strike price 15 um, for january 21st uh, that's probably a few months from now and the premium is about 85 dollars okay so he's um pretty much happy to own the shares if it's 15 or below i am so happy to own the shares, but i did not do the sell sell put that far out okay and the premium for selling put for uh, end of this uh, December is pretty low, okay, because they drop so much. So the consensus is they are not going to go so low. So the premium is not that good for me to enter. If I need to enter, I might need to extend far, but that's not my style, okay. So I, I did not do a sell put on that, but I actually invested long, okay, on 100 shares. So if you want to see his uh, trading blog, you can actually I'll, I'll put the website this um, the link and the description then you can actually go and see this blog. It's very interesting. Um, the guy as well, the things he do, he, he come up with very good analysis. Okay, so if we move on, just, just some of the um, good things that why I invested into uh, Stone Co is because they, they, they did really scale their business between the three years that they have. If you compare to the, the revenue, you know, all those things, they actually did very well. Okay, so a very important thing which I personally thing uh, for, for their business is they have to grow the client base okay so and it has been growing consistently and so so for me this uh, it's not really a no-brainer it's just that uh, have to start putting positions in for the longer term the market outlook short term wise not very healthy because uh, it's been read many many days and today we're expecting another very solid read days because of the new covid variant thingy but no COVID variance is nothing new. It's probably just another excuse for them to move the market down. And yes, and this we come for the song of the day. So I hope you like the two stocks that I've gone through. Why I sell collagen and why I reinvested the money to the Stone Cold. And I like to dedicate this song to a good friend of mine who has his loved one uh, passed away recently. So uh, this song will be dedicated to him. And I hope you guys will like it as well. Okay. Here we go. I set out on a narrow way many years ago, hoping I would find true love along the broken road. But I got lost a time or two, who oh, wiped my brows and kept pushing through. I couldn't see how every sign. Pointed straight to you Every long lost dream Led me to where you are Others who broke my heart They were like northern stars Pointing me on my way Into your loving arms This much I know is true that God bless the broken road and let me straight to you that God bless the broken road 
and it led me straight to you. Okay, guys. So have a great weekend. Hope you can enjoy the songs and my analysis of the two stocks. And I'll see you again next week.